Greetings, podcast listeners. In this episode, I'll be speaking about the Anglo Japanese Alliance of 1902. The Anglo German Alliance was signed at Lansdowne House in London on the 30th of January 1902 by Britain Foreign Secretary Lord Lansdowne and Hayashi Tadasu, a Japanese diplomat. It was formed as Japan wanted support against Russia, while also wanting to gain support from foreign powers in regards to its control over Korea. Meanwhile, Britain wished to counter Russia's expansion, therefore, they needed naval support in the Far East. One of the main terms of the Anglo Japanese alliance is that the countries agreed to remain neutral in the case of the other fighting at war with a single power. However, they would have to join the war if the other was fighting multiple countries. Another main aim of the alliance is that Britain accepted Japan's claim over Korea, while Japan promised to use their navy to assist in the protection of British interests in the Far East. Thirdly, the signatories agreed not to enter into separate agreements with other powers if those agreements would damage the existing Anglo Japanese alliance. And finally, Japan and Britain were to have full communication. So, did the Anglo Japanese alliance lead to Japan being recognized as a world power? On the one hand, the alliance essentially meant that Britain recognized Japan as a world power, as they recognized them of basically equal status as Britain themselves. However, on the other hand, despite its recognition by the largest empire in the history of the world, Great Britain, Japan was still not recognized as a world power by the other European powers. Before ending this episode, it is important to note the cancellation of the Anglo Japanese alliance under the Washington Treaties. The Washington Conference, which took place from 1921 to 1922, and its subsequent Four Power Treaty, which was signed by the USA, Britain, France, and Japan, formally ended the Anglo Japanese Alliance, which for a time had embarrassed Britain as their naval rivalry with Germany and Russia no longer existed, and also in the event of any conflict between the USA and Japan, Britain would be obliged to side with Japan, which was not favorable for them. Thank you for listening to another one of my podcasts. In the coming episodes, I'll be looking at the Russo Japanese War and Japanese involvement in the First World War. Please subscribe to be notified of future episodes and check out my website, linked in the description, for more content.